back to my channel and if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel my name is alexia and today i told y'all i was gonna do seven days straight vlogging like seven days straight posting videos because my birthday is in six days now now it's six days so what's up today is the 17th six more days to the 23rd it's lit i just got off work i work 8 30 to 4 at ihop that's my morning job i work overnight at factory yesterday the um yesterday i did go to la i did go to the gym with my friend we did go guys he brought me this it's so cute he's a delivery driver at this cookie place so he brought me these but look how cute it is look how cute this is my cookies all fallen y'all i did eat some but it was just so cute so i like put it back to show you guys <laughs> it has like my little name on there and all that let me show y'all My little message he put on there. Who ugly? It had mad different cookies in there because I asked him before. Like I asked him to bring me some cookies before, but they had um already had like threw out all the cookies before he had time to go grab some when he got off. So he made them himself. Um and he made like snickerdoodle. It was snickerdoodle. It's snickerdoodles, chocolate chips. Uh, I had asked for the white almond chocolate chip cook the white almond chip cookies and he did get me those but he gave me like my other stuff too um, but he did give me majority of what I asked for but he did give me a bunch of others here goes this is the one this is my favorite the white almond chip oh so good it's like different layers so that was the top couple of my um I was tasting this snickerdoodle it was good I just didn't want it it's like chocolate chips, more snickerdoodles, and more white almonds on the bottom. But yeah, this is so cute, y'all. I don't even want to like, I just want to keep it forever. <laughs> just because it's so cute. I don't know why. It's raining. It's all ugly outside. Today I got off work. I was like, ew, like, I just hate going out in the rain. So that's what I'm about to be doing for the rest of the day. Chilling and watching movies, y'all. So it's Wednesday. I haven't talked to my, um my little buddies about this weekend yet but hopefully you know everything goes as planned i need to talk i need to talk to them because they can go as planned you know i'm pretty sure they're down they told me to just remind them of what's up you know to confirm it because i didn't really confirm it so i need to just let them know they're like yeah but i'm trying to do this I'm trying to do that you know you feel me you down all right bet, let's go like. but that's it y'all y'all so today my co-workers we were talking about modeling and stuff so then i figured Oh, that's what I can talk about today. Guys, this is really bothering me. Do y'all see this light, this white stuff? This is from like the edge control and it's like dried up right there and it just looks really ugly. Cause like, you know, I put it on and I'm like rubbing it back there. So it's just like, ugh. So today I want to talk about the time I did drop by a few agencies to see what's up. Guys, I don't want to be a part of a modeling agency. I don't. I don't I just want to model for companies like I just want it's gonna happen it's gonna happen I'm getting them phone calls Nike gonna call me like um Alexia we would love to have you but I'm gonna be like okay like but yes so I had went to click agency it's in New York it's in a few places and it's also in Atlanta so when I was in New Jersey I went to the agency in New York but already with the intentions on i was already still had the i was still was already moving to atlanta when i went to visit that agency that was in august and you know i would i would just transfer type shit that was the plan so basically all right um my aunt used to work at this agency and she was like in there in there like she was like the partners like she was like the owner's partner you know and she she went scoping for models and stuff for her and all that stuff so what happened was, you know, my aunt hit up these people. She doesn't work there anymore, but they're very good friends. So she didn't tell them that I was her niece because, like, she wanted them to, like, be, like, completely honest and not, like, try to sugarcoat or be nice because I'm her niece. So we didn't tell them that I was her niece until, like, afterwards. So what happened was we went there 
and it's a meet and greet and that was the first time i legit like had like an evaluation like that like i, I thought it would be more like an interview but then after i thought about it i'm like hey i mean this is not for talking this is for walking <laughs> so you know i went in there and these people they just came around me looking me up and down like Hmm. Really looking at me, I never, I never felt so uncomfortable in my life. Like I never legit had someone in there like really looking at me like. So the whole time they're just like, okay, you really got it. You got the look, nice big natural hair, chinky eyes, mixed chick. Don't know what the mixture is. Tall, but they were like, they were like, they was like. You are beautiful, like you're gorgeous. Where'd you find her? And then she was like, this is my niece. <laughs> um, then it was like, but. but. And I was like, <laughs> but what? Like, but what? <laughs> but what? But what? Like, you're too thick. I'm like, I'm too what? I was like too thick. I was like too thick. <laughs> I've never been told I was too thick in my life. And like back then, y'all, I was skinnier, even skinnier than what I am right now. Like, yeah, I gained weight and I worked out. I've been trying to tone up in area. You know, you know, I'm trying to get that slim waist, cute face, thick legs in shape. I was like, are you serious? She said that all of the clothes are only made from zero to two i was like yeah and i'm nowhere near that like i was like bro i'm more of a like six seven honestly right now i'm more like an eight like a like a, more like an eight i was like wow you know it was it was pretty discouraging and i was very disappointed because i was very excited and at the time i thought that's really really what i wanted like i thought i really did want to be a runway model but like because that's really where the money is at you feel me but really after really thinking about it you know i don't want to be a runway model you know i would just like to model for fun you know and be in commercials and like be a commercial model but like a catalog model not an actual runway model you know so what happened was basically they had told me like if i was to had lose i wasn't skinny enough to be a runway model and i wasn't big enough to be a plus size model so that shit sucked I was like, damn. So basically, I had to lose. They told me I had to lose 30 pounds. And I was like, 30 pounds where? Like, damn. And it's because I know like, I'm tall, so it's spread it out. But it's like, I try to picture me 30 pounds cheap, like slimmer. And I was just like, bruh. Like, I feel like I'm going to look sick, you know? And don't get me wrong. I think models are beautiful. Da -da -da, and I know that they are very, very skinny and very slim. One of my favorite models is Chanel Eamon. And I never knew how to, if I was saying her last name right or wrong. But Chanel Eamon or Chanel Iman. And I tried to like really picture myself as like skinny as her. And I was just like, I just don't want to be that. I thought that's what I really wanted. Like I thought that's what I really wanted, guys. I thought that's what I really wanted. But it and it, it's not. It's not, you know, after I really thought about it, and I was like, no, like, I, that's not what I want to really do as a living. Like, I don't want to be known as a model, you feel me? Like, I want to be known, like, I'm going to do it all, you feel me? I'm going to do it all. So, at first, I thought that's what I wanted. <sighs> so, what did I start doing? I started to kill myself, like, literally. Uh, I stopped eating a bunch of stuff. I was basically only eating salad. Like, bas I, I was basically, like, not eating anything, bro. I was, like, literally, like, starving myself going 10 times harder in the gym and it just was so unhealthy guys like it was so unhealthy and i was feeling so sick and i was just so like not myself i was feeling slouchy i was lazy i had no energy i wasn't getting the nutrients that i needed because i wasn't eating like anything basically like i really tried to like <laughs> basically kill myself as i started to as i was going and i was just like bro you know, by the time I had got to the agency, I was working out already for a look. Like, I have the look that I want. And I honestly, I'm there now. It's just more toning to do. You feel me? Um, but um, at the time, you know, I was getting to my goal. So for me to just have, like, switched up and totally kind of just fuck up everything that I had going on and do a whole nother plan... 
it just like ugh, it kind of sucked you know because it ended up not even being what i wanted you know i ended up kind of just giving that up and i one day i was just sitting there and i was like bruh like is this what i really want like do i really want to be a runaway model do i really want to lose 30 pounds am i going to be happy with myself am i going to be happy this way guys that's really what it comes down to like literally your happiness and your peace is what matters most if it don't make you happy don't do it you know what i mean there's so many rich people out there that are not happy there's rich people that commit suicide bro that goes to show you that money not the answer i know homeless people i've met the happiest homeless people in my life bro i've met i've yo i've honestly walked past a whole bunch of homeless people that will literally conversate with me and just be super nice and not ask me for a dime just they just they give they'll give me blessings but so i had to really like figure that out and once i did it was cool like i was like okay you know i like really thought about that and i realized like no i'm not gonna be happy like that like i got back on one day i legit was like like bro <laughs> that day i decided that i didn't want to do that no more i was like it was like love bro and i came to the conclusion that yeah i'm not gonna be happy you know what i mean and Honestly, there's a, even if I did want to be a, in an agency, there's a whole bunch of agencies that I know that I don't have to lose that weight, but I really did want to be in that particular one. But it's okay. You know what I mean? It is what it is. That's what me and my coworker was talking about. And the lesson why I realized I wanted to share that story was just because because of the out because of the outcome you know because of the lesson i learned from that you feel me like your happiness is what comes first like you know what i mean you gotta think about your happiness like, honestly i would rather live my life maybe getting paid less if i'm happy doing what it is that i'm getting paid for you know what i mean than really being miserable getting paid for something i don't want to actually do you know what i mean because not only would i have had to lose that 30 pounds I would have had to keep it off you know what i mean so that means this is a lifestyle now this the way i have to eat and the way i have to move this is a lifestyle now i gotta think about that like is that really what you want long term just can't think about in the moment like yeah it all sounds good right now but what about in the long run you know what i mean like where you what you think of, what about in two years like or a year or a couple months like you know it's like you gotta think about that and you gotta think about your happiness and what it is that you really want in life so yeah that was a lesson from that and that was that so yeah f that agency because y'all really tried to kill me like so, this was my um what i had ordered from there it was so good it was a salad it's a cob salad it got grilled chicken i it don't come with avocado but i added avocado of course little bacon bits tomato boiled like boiled egg um whatever stuff six more days until my birthday y'all and i'm ready i'm gonna be so lit that's all i'm thinking about my friends are gonna cook they're gonna cook me dinner i'm so happy i just happened to say i wanted some big macaroni and she was like you want some for your birthday and i was like mm. i was like yeah totally so that's it guys i don't have nothing else to say today i'm gonna take a shower watch some movies and chill that's it please like comment and subscribe and you already know Stay cool, stay you, and stay weird.